Hi guys, I'm Jordan from Norwich Camping and Leisure and I'm beside two new updated awnings for 2022 from Outdoor Revolution. So these are the Move Light T3E and the T4E. Okay, so the T4 they've had, in, in, well both of these have had previous years um, and they've got the T4E PC as well, poly cotton. This, uh, they dropped this last year but they obviously brought it back again uh, with loads more features so it's um, very much revamped this one completely and then obviously in the new colorways as well. So this is a one, sort of 150 Denny material, so nice good material. It's in the same colours as their Airedale range as well, which is really nice. Um, and this is a sort of like a, a smallish, smallish awning, you know, a bit like the T2 they do, with a, where you park your motorhome, your camper van on the side here, but you've got the option to add an annex to it, so really extend this if you wanted to. So as you see, it's got this open canopy area here, you can buy a vestibule which zips onto the top here and that closes it off. So, um, so like that vestibule that you see over there, that's the vestibule's the front door. So you can actually, porch door, you can put that on if you wanted to, to close this off. But as you can probably see from the, on the video there, we've also got the extension on the back. So you can zip that in. So say you want to put a bedroom inner in there. I mean, you can put a bedroom inner in this section, but say you want to extend it so you're only going away for a, you know, a weekend, you just have it as the awning. Say you're going away for longer and taking family, you could buy an, extent, uh, an, a, an annex to put on the back of it to really extend uh, the awning. And that is the same with the T4 next door. So that's a bigger awning, so it's got an extra bay, and then you can still put the bedroom annex on it as well if you wanted to. I'll turn the camera around and show you one. So as you see there, that's the T4 with a front canopy on, over the top and it's got the bedroom annex on the back. So that's T4, so that's poly cotton that you just looked at and then that one there is polyester. So if I move you around here, this, this is where you'd park your motorhome. Okay, so you can attach that with a driveway kit on there. Um, you've got your door in the side there, door in the side there, so when you come out of your motorhome, you can go out either way which is a nice option, and then the door to get into your awning from there. Like I said, you can put a vestibule on the front here, close it off, make this area nice and dry area. They have made this, um, this canopy area slightly bigger as well, so if you put a chair in here, you've actually got a bit of shelter, more shelter from the rain, rather than it being a bit narrow, or, or shelter from the sun. So, so as we go into the T3 now, and I'll show you the T4 in a second. You've got a mesh panel on there, so you can have a complete big mesh panel. Then you've got a door, so you can have a complete door on there as well. Open that up, move it all the way to the side. Plenty of headroom in here. You can put a pole in the top if you want to keep it nice and taut, but a strap on the front, a couple of straps on the front there, or guys on there, and pulled that way, that'll keep it nice and taut. Obviously straps on the back, that'll keep the roof nice and taut, like we've got here. This side, you've got a nice tinted window, skylight on the roof, zip up, zip down curtains. This side we've got our door that leads to our tunnel area and to our camper van. You can hang an inner tent in here if you wanted to. You can, uh, that clips up here, down here and fills up one side as a two berth inner tent. Um, I think you can put a four berth in here as well actually. So you could turn this whole living area into a bedroom if you really wanted to. But then this is what's the great thing is that you can actually add this annex. So rather than using this space to use as your bedroom, you can extend it that way and have this as your bedroom. So the annex comes with this uh, inner tent in here, so you can close it up to stop the bugs getting in, or you can just use it as a, an extension. And that's just one pole that goes on the outside, so quick and easy to put up uh, and peg out. So really nice addition that you can extend it with that. And that annex is exactly the same for the T4. Um, but we'll go in the T4 just to show you the, the size of the living area. So one of my favorite uh, additions, well, you know, the, the fact that you can close off the front of this awning makes it so much better, makes it one of the best ones on the market, in my opinion now because you know it's nice having that area but everyone wants to you know you, you do want a front you know if it's raining like it's about to start spitting you can close it off and you know and have this as more of a dry area than a than a canopy area but if the sun's shining it's different you know you might want you don't need the front door then do you but uh, so nice that the option's there anyway obviously the vestibule opens this way or opens up all the way slightly tinted windows as well which is nice also a big mesh panel on there as well with this one in right this inner tent does not come with it, so it's hard to picture, but if you can imagine this, your living area in this awning would actually go all the way back here. 
and then you could then put the annex on the back of it. So that door at the back is to put that extension on the back or you can just use that door at the back as another entrance into the, into the tent. But this is the bedroom inner you can buy for it if you didn't want the annex. So if you think this awning's big enough, which it is, which most people think it is, you can buy a four berth inner tent as well. So that's a great addition uh, to turn it into, a, into an actual living tent and a, you know, an awning that you can stay in uh, for the kids to sleep in or parents and vice versa from the van and that. You can also put a two berth in here, so you can have it one side or the other side, depending on uh, how you want it. But obviously a four berth goes in there quite nicely. When it comes to the tunnel, uh, you've got a door there and a door there. That's why this inner tent's got a nice door in it to get there as well. So you've got a nice big tunnel on the side there, which attaches to your motorhome. And that's obviously got doors in the side, so you can go out either way as well. So real nice spacious, um, spacious area. Sometimes people use that as the sort of toilet area or, or just to keep more belongings in that, in that tunnel area. But obviously you, you'd wind your tunnel or you'd roll your tunnel back up from the outside when you drive away for the day. So just because you can see, you can actually open both of them doors up. So even if you did have it pitched, you could actually be facing that way on your pitch if you didn't have your motorhome here. Um, and then obviously you can roll these away and tie them up here. The poles here are just for demonstration purposes to show you where your van would be attached to it. But you could use it like this if you really wanted to with a couple of poles. Two doors in them, so you come out your motorhome straight out that way anyway. So real, real nice uh, load of features. It's packed full of features, these, this, the T3 and the T4 range. Uh, especially being able to add the vestibule canopies and the annex as well. So we'll do carpets and footprints and, uh, and front doors, canopies and annexes for the T3 and the T4 range and the T4 EPC, so the polycotton version as well. Um, yeah, obviously if you want a package deal, uh, want some more details and weights and dimensions and photos, check out our website, give us a call. Thanks for watching this video.